It's Pele here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the texture flicker effect in After Effects. And this idea actually just came by by just listening to Lucky's music, to be honest. Like I was just listening to old, some old, uh, you know, Lucky songs. One of my favorite artists, you guys know, one thing leads to another, so watch one of his music videos. Got more into the uh, yeah, lone wolf editing style now, so that's basically what I'm trying to do now. <laughs> You guys might have noticed that on the tutorials, I really, really like the uh, yeah, lone wolf editing style. So uh, that's yeah for the moment what I'm like diving more deep into. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be making the texture flicker transition in uh, After Effects here. And I really, really thought it looked good, and uh, it uh, really looks like a lone wolf transition, I would say. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it, and if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pelle Sjöberg, I'm from Sweden, I've been editing for almost 10 years now, and I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com, where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to enhance your editing and speed up your workflow, so if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out the website. Now, let's start with the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects, I've added two uh, videos here, obviously lucky music videos. Yeah, I'm going to be showcasing the transition here. So I've already made some markers here, and these are basically 14 frames in width from each other. So uh, from the actual transition point, which is in the middle, it's going to be 7 frames to the left, and then 7 frames to the right from the transition point. So we're going to start off by basically right clicking, go to new, make a solid layer, and then press OK. And you can cut it here when the transition starts. And here we're going to be adding fractal noise. And what we're going to be doing here is basically, uh, I want to say the most random textures here, but they should be very uh, different from each other. So the first one we're going to be uh, changing the fractal type to terrain, doesn't really matter. We just have to make a unique looking texture that we think looks cool. Go one frame forward, press Ctrl Shift D to split it. Then go with some other fractal type, change around to get a nice look, something like that. Next up, split it, increase contrast, change type. Nice, go to the next one. There we go, next one, something like that. Go to the next one. For this one we could change around with the transform settings stretch it make some unique look here something like that next up something like that and then cut it when you come to the transition point so now you guys can see we have seven solid layers here with completely different looks and these are going to be our textures here i have been making a pretty similar tutorial before where i used like textures from the yeah, internet uh like paper kind of uh, you know, textures and stuff like that. Uh, but for this tutorial, I wanted to make all the, you know, textures uh, in After Effects here. And now we're going to be going one by one here and changing the uh, blending mode. So we can go with the first one, change around. I think the pin light looks the best here. Then go to the next one, then lighter color. Next one, something like that. Texture glitchy look there. Fourth one, exclusion. Then next one, I think hard light looks clean. Then divide and then difference. So these are our textures now, as you guys can see. They're flickering pretty fast, but now we're going to be uh, marking all of our textures here and then pressing Ctrl D to duplicate them. Then drag it to the next marker we made. So now it's going to be covering the whole transition here. So this is the look we have now. This already looks insanely clean just this in my opinion which is pretty cool that you can make this kind of transition with just you know fractal noise and just some solid layers you can make this kind of look here pretty pretty cool in my opinion spice up this transition here you guys could add a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here make the adjustment layer as uh, the same width as the transition which is 14 frames and here you guys could add signal here increase the signal amplification, then cutoff filter, 150, luma noise, 28, chroma noise, 67, hue noise, 34, then chroma loss here, drag it up, then sharpen to 5, then open up luma modulation and then uncheck tape errors. And if you guys want to elevate the texture flicker transition 
even more and actually maximize the yeah, grunge aesthetic and get the yeah, lone wolf look with it. Basically make a new adjustment layer, control Y. We can make the one we added now invisible. Make it the same width as the transition. I'm gonna make it yellow so you know which one we're using guys. Go to effects and presets, animation presets, user presets, grunge presets. And here I'm going to be using the max grunge effect. Drag it on like this. So this is how it's going to look when you use the max grunge effect from my grunge pieces pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. A incredible look in my opinion. And this is just, you know, one of the effects from the pack that you can use to elevate your, you know, music videos to get the more lone wolf style to it. If you just play around a little bit with effects here for this uh, clip here, for example, make a new adjustment layer. Here you could add the grungy nightmare. And with the grungy nightmare, you guys will get this kind of look here with a simple drag and drop. So I think it looks absolutely amazing. That is just two effects from the uh, grunge preset pack. So if you guys are interested in the grunge preset pack, it's going to be a link in the description down below. And it's also going to be a little discount code included there as well. So feel free to check it out. But yeah, as I said before, very satisfied with this look here, combining the max grunge effect from my grunge preset pack completely transformed the effect to a incredible look in my opinion and uh, if you guys also like this uh, look and also like this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com also check out my socials join my discord server and i'll see you guys soon take care and have a nice day